in Moscow. She doesn't have the typical gymnastics body. Her longtime coach, Boris Pilkin, who she credits with being her savior, turned a negative into a positive. The long, lean body style, he said that that can make you special, Svetlana. A 9.65, and for the Russians, that's more like it, but last place almost makes you want to look twice. And then look again at seventh place, China. Spain, an unlikely leader, followed by Romania and the United States, a team that has to be thinking about the possibilities. Right now, it's a jumbled world, and still any other team could make a major mistake. Next up on the uneven bars, the Romanian women in the World Championships of Gymnastics. Back in Anaheim, California, for more of the World Championships of Gymnastics. This is the team competition, and we have a major chalking operation going on with the Romanians right now on the uneven bars. What's going on? Well, you know, every gymnast, every team likes the bar a little bit different. Some of the athletes are putting a sugar and water or a honey solution on the bars. Some of the athletes like a lot of chalk on the bars. Some of the athletes like no chalk on the bars. And this competition, there is no one-touch warm-up, so a lot of that would have gotten done in the one-touch warm-up. The Romanians, I can't believe how long they've been doing this. The head judge, I'm surprised they didn't tell him, hey, stop, you got to go. To the vault. Patricia Moreno of oh. Spain and another disastrous. You know, the head coach, Jesus Carballo, this is his 18th World Championships as a head coach. He said one of the things that he feared most with this team was their lack of experience in their young team. Now, this begs the question, and we've talked about the fact that you can't get a perfect 10 anymore because the skills required are just too difficult. Are they too difficult for this generation of gymnastics? No, I don't think so. They are very, very difficult, but there are athletes in the world that are capable of pulling them off. Like Elfie said, it is a very young team. They don't have the experience. Alexandra Aremia of Romania. Romania in second after the first rotation. And you know, they could post some fairly decent bar scores. Traditionally, they have not been really strong on this event. Tim and I have both been impressed by how they have upped their difficulty. They look so much better. To put it into perspective a little bit, at the last World Team Championships, oh, and there's a small error right there, that pause. The struggle. Romanian team did not have one athlete make it into the nines. And this is unbelievable. You know, they have improved. As LP said, their angles are a little bit better, but they are not tremendous on the uneven bars. What they needed to do was come out there and rock these sets, two big steps on the landing, that pause. Doesn't this look like it should be the year after the Olympics as opposed to the year before? I think this is one of the first times that I can remember in a long time having to get to know so many new faces, like you said, Al, the year before the Olympics. Usually that takes place the year after the Olympics. You have three years to build your team. Next up, Florica Leonida. Uh, by the way, the score for Aremia or for Moreno, Patricia Moreno of Spain was an 8.462. So now Russia has to absorb a score in the sevens. China has to absorb a score in the eights, and so does Spain. That's got to cost them first place here, barring something unforeseen and almost catastrophic. Yeah, that'll knock them out of first place. Balu, the head coach for Romania, very outspoken. He does not like the rule changes. He doesn't like three up, three count. He doesn't like no one-touch warm-up prior to the team finals. Thinks safety-wise, it is not right. This young lady, unquestionably on this team, the best bar worker. worker. Oh, and she's in trouble. Same type of mistake like her teammate. Incredible. That one was much more pronounced. Now, so far, this is not a matter of someone winning the World Team Championship. It's a matter of countries losing the World Team Championship. Yeah, this is, this is remarkable. That skill that she missed, she was off on the transition from the low bar to the high bar. But the skill that she actually missed, many athletes learn that the first year they're competing. I mean, you got seven-year-olds that are doing this element. 
She hit all her big skills, but it's right here. The transition from low bar to high bar. She gets in real close and muscles, muscles that kip up. One of the most basic skills in gymnastics. A value, a kip. She's never missed that before, I can guarantee you. So an 8.987 after a 9.025 from Eremia on the uneven bars, and now the Romanian team in major, major jeopardy. I tell you, that, that bodes well, extremely well, for the USA. Romania did not score well on the bars. USA has a very strong team here. So they exit, and the Chinese women on the same apparatus, the uneven bars. Can one team avoid that major mistake? So far, it has been an unmitigated disaster for more than just Russia, but this is the longtime general of the gymnastic troops from Russia on the men's and the women's side. And he is now looking to one of his longtime foot soldiers, Svetlana Horkina, to salvage something out of what has happened to his team. On the right there, perhaps you saw the, the ad for which Svetlana Horkina is the model for the watch, the sponsor of this World Championships. Very intricate vault here. She has a hard time getting this around. One of the best ones I have it's amazing, seen her it? do. You can watch her in training and she'll land on all fours. If ten, you ever catch her, do one in training. <laughs> ten times in a row.